Good day, good people. My name is Gabo Sequele, and I am an online math tutor here to help young children turn their struggles into their successes. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to parents who ask themselves why their child is so bad at math. I genuinely believe that most kids can do well in math. Now, this is not coming from someone who has done well in math all their life. This is coming from someone who used to do not so well in math, <laughs> but eventually cracked the code and started to do math very well. So I'm going to be speaking on why children generally Really do not do very great in math and we'll also discuss what your child can do to solve this particular problem. So let's start off by giving the overarching reason why children don't do well in math. If your child is not doing well in math, it's because they truly do not know and understand mathematics. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that your child most probably does not understand the theory behind math. Because the truth is, math has both a theoretical and a practical side. And if your child does not understand them, they won't do well in math. Now, a lot of children are very good at the practical side of things because they have been shown step by step how to solve math problems practically. Right now, you can go to a fifth grader and ask them to add two fractions together. Chances are they may be very good at that because that's what they've been taught in class. However, stop and ask that same fifth grader what a fraction is. Not how to add or subtract it, but what a fraction actually is. He or she may struggle with that because they don't understand the theory behind mathematics. Now, if your child does not understand that, the concepts and the theory behind mathematics, they will be bad at math, guaranteed. Think of it like this. Let's say you are very good at cooking and you decided to make a dish that made all of your friends go wild. Now, as a result of that, one of your friends came up to you and asked for the recipe. Now, because you know your friend cannot cook, you give them a step-by-step -step recipe that explains each and every single step that he or she needs to take in order for this dish to turn out well. Eventually, they use your recipe, and to everyone's delight, the dish turns out well. Does this now mean that your friend is an excellent cook and they understand the theory behind cooking? Or does it mean that they can read and they can follow instructions very well? I think it's more the latter. <laughs> See, what makes a great cook is not just being able to whip up a dish. Anybody can do that. It's their understanding of how the different ingredients and the different spices work together and why they work the way they do. Also, once they have that knowledge and understanding, how well they apply that knowledge and understanding also contributes to how great of a cook you are. That's what makes a person good at cooking. So going back to the math, <laughs> What normally happens in class is that your child may be given step-by-step -step instructions on how to calculate math and how to solve math practically. And most children, like your friend who can't cook, are very good at reading and they're very good at following instructions. They may do well when tested on their ability to calculate math problems, but they are still not good at math. They still don't understand the theory behind math. They don't have the very important foundation that makes someone good at math. The knowledge and the understanding that they need in order to excel in math is not there. Therefore, they then are bad at math. Now, if your child was just tested on their ability to do math practically, if they were just tested on solving problems and calculating and all of that in their tests and their exams a lot of kids would be doing very well in math because a lot of kids have been shown exactly how to do math practically but the problem is that your child is not going to be tested on just their practical abilities in fact most of the test is going to slyly test their theoretical knowledge and understanding and rightfully so because math is meant to improve your child's ability to reason and to think for themselves it helps them develop their brain so always being shown how to do something is not improving their brain it's not helping them to reason and to think on their own. So that's the overarching reason why your child may be bad at math. So now that you understand the overarching reason, I want you and I to discuss the potential reasons why they might have gotten to that point. How is it that they don't understand the theory of math? That's what we're gonna discuss now. The first reason we're gonna talk about is that your child may have some sort of learning disability. One of the more common math learning disabilities that your child may have is something called dyscalculia. Now, this learning disability makes it hard for children to learn and understand math. So to see if your child has dyscalculia, you can take them to an educational site psychologist who specializes in that area. They can test and diagnose your child to see if they have this learning disability. Also, there are a couple of online tests that your child can take and they can be diagnosed on there as well. The beauty about this situation is that even though your child may have dyscalculia, it's not as though they are doomed to fail in math for the rest of their lives. 
There are ways to work around it. There are ways that your child can learn math despite having this learning disability. Now, the second and more common reason why your child may not understand math is that their teachers in school have not given them what they need to understand math. They may have never had a math teacher that explains math in the right way and that shows them that they need to understand the theoretical aspects of math. Looking back for me, in primary school, I wasn't taught math correctly. My teachers, bless their hard work and efforts, didn't give me what I needed to do well in math. I remember the common teaching method back in primary school was to introduce a new math concept, for example, fractions. And then my teacher would show me how to calculate fractions. You know, they'd show me how to add and subtract, multiply and divide them. And once that was done, I would be then assigned homework to practice those practical skills that they've just taught me. And normally I did very well with the homework, but I didn't do very well in the test or the exams. The problem with this teaching method is that I still did not know what a fraction was. I knew how to work with it, I just didn't know what it was. And that was the case for me and most of my classmates at the time. We couldn't put fractions into words for you. We wouldn't be able to explain what a fraction is because we didn't know the theory of fractions. We didn't know what a fraction was theoretically and we didn't understand what a fraction was theoretically. So that was the common teaching method and that still happens to this day. So that might be another reason why your child is struggling in math. The third reason, and probably a reason that's more damaging than the previous one we just discussed, is that your child may not know how to study math for themselves. They may not know how to study it the right way. I say this because even if your child has the best math teachers in the world and they don't know how to study math, they're gonna struggle in math. The converse is also true. If your child has the worst math teacher in the world, but they know how to study math well, they can get very good grades in math. So if you want to know more about how your child can learn how to study math the right way, I have a whole video all about that. I will link it up here and I will also leave the link down in the description for you. That video shares what your child needs to do to understand the theoretical side of math. In fact, it shares the exact study method that helped me to go from someone who is bad at math to someone who is good at math. So be sure to check that video out. So parents, in summary, why is your child so bad at math? The overarching reason is that your child may not fully understand the theory behind math. Why don't they understand the theory behind math? Well, the first reason may be that your child has a learning disability that makes it very hard for them to understand math. If that is not the case, then it's either they've never been taught math the right way or they simply do not know how to study math the right way. There are many other reasons, but those are the three more common reasons why your child may be struggling. And the truth is there are many ways to combat these issues. There are many ways your child can improve their math ability and their math skills. Personally, I love helping young people improve their skills in math. So if you are in search of an online math tutor who can help your child in this case, go down to my website and schedule a free consultation with me and I will see you there. Thank you very much for making it to the end of this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.